So what is the fourth element? The fourth element is called events. So can events be marketed? There are, there are two perspectives here. First is events can be marketed, no doubt about it. And the second perspective is that through events, you can also market your offering. So through events, you market your products and services. So event in the context of marketing is a technique which involves promoting a brand or a product or a service in person or real time. So companies can do so by hosting events, by participating in the events, by becoming sponsors of these events, which can be held online or offline. So what marketers do is they use event as a platform to, first of all, strengthen their brand recognition. Because when you're building brand, you, you need to portray your brand on a certain parameter and ensure that parameter gets logged in the minds of the consumer. So brand recognition parameter needs to be carefully dictated. So this can be done with the help of an event. Second, you can also ensure customer engagement. So customer engagement also is a new concept wherein you try to uh, continuously stay in touch with your customer and try to have some sort of engagement with them so that they always stay connected with your brand. Third, with the help of events, you can also generate sales. So first, you can strengthen your brand recognition. Second, you can definitely indulge in customer engagement. Third, you can also produce sales. That's quite often the most ultimate objective of marketing through events. Fourth, you can also educate the customer. So some uh, campaigns are created to educate the customer about a certain concept, about certain product. And the other way is to do some sort of a cross-selling. So these are the various ways in which uh, brands can use event as a platform to market their products and services. And you also need to market the event. So both are important, marketing through event and marketing the event. These are two different concepts, right? So when we say marketing the event, of course, in order to market the event, you need to create the curiosity in the audience, you need to communicate to the audience that how different and how unique this event is and in what way this event will entertain them, in what way this event will benefit them. So that needs to be carefully communicated to the customer. So that is what event marketing is all about, in which you're trying to market a specific event, trying to persuade customers, trying to influence customer to take part in your event. I mean, do you think the BCCI markets IPL because we we know the other perspective. We know that all the brands, of course, big brands wait for this sporting event to market their products and services. But how does BCCI markets IPL? The answer is some of the steps, what I said, what, what brands do. IPL also does. One of the things what I said is customer engagement. So does IPL keeps the fans engaged, keeps the fans uh, attached to the event. How does it do that? So various ways. Of course, before even the IPL could start, they prepare this marketing campaign. They also have various kind of anthems, songs that are being made, right? A lot of viral marketing is done. A lot of marketing is done on social media to keep the fans engaged. And on top of the on, on top of this IPL also instructs all the respective franchises also from their end to market and franchises take the help of some of the big celebrities to market the event. Right. So IPL has its own way of marketing the event. Uh, it, own, it, it has a various kind of marketing campaigns that it rolls out before the event could start. Then they also take the help of publicity. So media does all the publicity for IPL free of cost. Advertisement is paid. You have to pay for advertisement, but publicity is free because the media does the coverage of the event. So right from auctioning of the players, players coming to India for training, who has bid for which team. So all this excitement, all that news is being given by the media free of cost. So there is that is where IPL gets all the publicity with the help of media. What makes this event quite successful? What makes this event 
so popular is the entire package the entire component that goes into event so right from the celebrities which are involved in the event so bollywood also is actively associated with ipl so ipl is not just a sport it's a combination of entertainment and sport so you have the component of entertainment also attached to it because a lot of bollywood actor and actresses are associated with ipl right and then you also have some of the big industrialists who are also popular figure heads icons are also associated with ipl and the format of ipl itself makes it interesting because it's not a conventional boring test or odi format so the format is quite quick uh, right so it can easily be uh, marketed and then the presentation the way the uh, broadcast is presented to the audience so whether it is a pre match show post match show uh, the kind of other elements which goes into whether it is commentators or whether it is the cheerleaders various factors have made the ipl a very successful event and the, this success has been replicated in other sporting events also in india see the concept of ipl is actually derived from epl english premier league which is a football league played in uh, uk right where you have the franchise system so ipl in itself is not a unique concept it takes inspiration from epl and what uh, star sports did is that star sports also did a similar kind of packaging a similar kind of presentation which is followed in epl ipl for other events also in fact i when i was a student in school one of the most favorite sport i used to play was kabaddi so kabaddi was our favorite sport and basically an indian sport why people did not have craze about kabaddi 20 years back even i used to watch kabaddi on dd sports because kabaddi was not shown in other sports channels so in star sports they never used to show kabaddi because it's a, no no popular fans to watch the program so we used to watch it on dd sports and sometimes i used to fall asleep because that's the kind of boring presentation dd sports used to have boring commentary very slow pace of broadcast which would make any event quite dull and boring but the same event is now being presented by star sports in a in an international standard so i don't know how many of you watch nba or how many of you watch uh, the barclays premier league or the english premier league the kind of elements what they add there whether it is entertainment or whether it is creating excitement or whether it is those uh, colorful presentation of uh, each stream each each team the same elements have been copied and that's what star sports did star sports have imbibed all these elements have and have made some of the uh, I, i don't know whether to, i should say these events or these sporting events as boring because there are some of the fans who really love them but definitely these were the events which once upon a time felt quite boring but all of a sudden now these events seems to have become quite interesting events for us so i am talking about the pro kabaddi league right so who used to watch kabaddi except for few 10 15 years back now all of us have shown a great interest in kabaddi the trp is increasing the viewership has gone up it's the same thing with the hockey league or it's the same thing with the football league so these events have now all of a sudden become popular events what's the reason the reason is simple 15 20 years back these events were not properly marketed but now these events are being excellently marketed they are adding all the elements which are required to make a event successful and the presentation is exceptional and that's the reason even these events of lit has become so popular events so this is one dimension which i wanted to speak how do you market the events event marketing right so whenever you take up any particular event you need to sit down and draft a strategy first you have to figure out who who are the audience how do you attract audience towards your event what are the strategies what are the tactics what are the different kind of campaigning that needs to be done on social media on your mass media on conventional media to ensure that you persuade the audience to watch your event and this is what uh, star has done star sports has excellently crafted its marketing campaign in a way that people are now very comfortable in watching these events which once upon a time most of them used to stay away from these events because 
in those days the marketing of these events was not taken seriously the the sports was presented the way it it is in a very raw form in which people did not i mean there was no interest created in the audience but now the interest is now being created by adding various ingredients right so this is uh, what event marketing is all about event marketing is all about ensuring that the event is well perceived well received and the audience are completely engrossed and engaged with the event so you have to take up strategies that ensures that the event reaches the audience and audience fall in love with the event this is one aspect this is called event marketing the other side of the coin is called marketing through the events so marketing through the events of course all the big marketers out there they have big budgets right because uh you have to ensure that customer recognizes your brand that's the first point i presented to you why do marketers use events as a platform it's because they want to strengthen their brand recognition in most of the cases we are not aware of the brands sometimes we forget the brands because there are so many of them right so how will you ensure that the customer remembers the brand name let's say uh, your your mother has given you 50 rupees to go and buy coriander powder from a supermarket which brand would you buy how many brands of spices do you remember at the moment can you list out at least 10 brands the answer is very difficult to list out 10 brands so which brand would you remember you would remember only those brands whose advertisement would have made a significant impact on your mind whose marketing campaign would have definitely attracted you so you remember those brands other brands you don't even remember because of late you have not seen their advertisement at all so that's the basic point the basic point is unless you don't keep your audience in uh, you don't reinforce yourself you don't strengthen your brand audience will forget your brand nobody will remember your brand itself and that's what an event does it it closely connects audience with the brand an example vivo while you i mean you don't get to see much of the ads of vivo on the television but you remember vivo why because it it is always called vivo ipl ipl and vivo as if both are married surname <laughs> right similarly when you go to uk it's barclays premier league Barclays is a financial institution who is the sponsor of English Premier League but nobody says it English Premier League it is always referred to as Barclays Premier League so you need you, you see because of this so called IPL we have strong brand recognition so we remember okay Vivo we can never forget this brand because this brand was associated with iconic event like IPL Barclays is associated with iconic football event like EPL English Premier League very difficult to forget this brand so this is where your brand recognition becomes stronger right so like this various brands do various kinds of circuses to ensure that you remember their brand names right can you tell me one brand uh, which has been very loyal to Kolkata Knight Riders you always see their brand name on the jerseys for a very long time they have associated with them so now every franchise also has certain brand brand sponsors and the best way to market there is to put your brand name on their jerseys so entire uniform which they wear it's totally occupied by different brand names so the main area of the jersey would cost you more so if you want to put your brand name on the jersey uh it will cost you somewhere around 300 crores that's the amount what you have to pay to each franchise so if we want st joseph's college on uh rcb right if <laughs> we have to pay 350 crores to rcb to put st joseph's here right who is the sponsor of indian cricket team byju's so byju had to sign a deal with bcci to be the sponsor and had to shell out crores of rupees of money right now byju's brand recognition has become very strong thanks to 
Indian cricket team. They are the official sponsors of Indian cricket team. So we remember Baiju's because now everybody remembers Baiju's because it's there on their favorite cricket team's jersey, right? So coming to Royal Challengers Bangalore, what is this Royal Challenger? Royal Challenger is actually a whiskey brand. It's an alcohol brand. So just imagine somebody keeps a team name after an alcohol brand name, Royal Challenger, right? So the brand recognition would have obviously gone hundred times or thousand times up. So that's what companies do. They use events as a platform to create strong brand recognition. So most of you, each of the franchisee, what you get to watch on the television during the matches, each franchisee has their own main sponsor, associate sponsors, right? Somewhere in the side of the helmet, if you want that small logo being put, again, you have to pay hundreds of crores of rupees. And every band has an official sponsor. So uh, somebody says calls himself as an official beverage sponsor of uh, Royal Challenger. Somebody says official snack sponsor of Royal Challenger, right? So every brand wants to associate themselves with each of the franchisee. Every brand wants to associate with IPL. In fact, IPL is the most eagerly awaited event for most of the big marketers because it's quite easy to connect with the customers. It is quite easy to engage with the customers. So event marketing turns out to be a very good platform for marketers to showcase their products, to strengthen their brand name, to enhance their sales, right? To make way for cross-selling, to make a uh, way for customer engagement. So a lot of benefits are associated with marketing through events, right? So it's not just the sporting events. Of course, there are so many other events that are quite popular. Uh, one popular uh, I mean in India we also like all this so called award shows so whether it is uh, uh, your screen awards whether it is your filmfare awards so these are also some of the major events of Bollywood that happens on a yearly basis so we always want to watch these events and uh, of course uh, from a marketing perspective I always want to associate with an event which has high fan following which has high audience because when the event reaches masses it becomes quite easier for me as a marketer to use that event as a plot platform to reach the masses so bigger the magnanimity of the event bigger the scope of the event the chances of that event being used as a platform by the marketer becomes much higher right so that's how events play an important role in marketing the products the two two dimensions, event marketing and marketing through events, right? So these are two different dimensions which you have to remember. 